ever thought about Earth Day? How it started? When it started? Who made it happen? Well, there's a lot to be learned by reading the historical document, Proposal for Earth Day, by Gaylord Nelson. Who was Gaylord Nelson? To start, he was born in 1916 in the northern woods of Wisconsin. He fought in World War II, became an attorney, and in 1958, he was elected governor of Wisconsin, where he served for two terms. He was always interested in the environment and conservation, having grown up in rural Wisconsin, and as governor, he enacted laws protecting the environment, laws that were so popular that he became known as the conservation governor. When he ran for the Senate in 1962, he was easily elected. As a senator, he was a champion of the environment and conservation. In 1963, he convinced President Kennedy to undertake an 11-state conservation tour. Nelson spent his life as an advocate for the environment. Later in life, after his Senate career, he served as counselor to the Wilderness Society and was awarded the Medal of Freedom by President Bill Clinton in 1995. He died 10 years later in 2005 at age 89. What led up to Earth Day? What was the defining moment? It might seem strange now, but when Nelson went to Washington in 1962, there were very few laws that protected the environment. The environmental movement took hold in the 1960s, largely due to the book Silent Spring by Rachel Carson, which documented the harm caused by pesticides like DDT. The movement resulted in the Clean Air Act of 1963, as well as the Wilderness Act of 1964. Unfortunately, during the mid-60s, the movement took a backseat to opposition and protests over the Vietnam War and the struggle for civil rights that led to racial unrest. By the late 60s, environmentalism regained its momentum because people, particularly by the younger generation, was becoming more aware of the damage being done by unchecked industry. Many major U.S. cities were shrouded in smog. Lakes such as Lake Erie were considered dead or dying lakes, and catastrophic oil spills were also attracting attention. Simultaneously, many in the youth hippie movement wanted to leave the cities because of crime, police repression, and to reconnect with the land, with the idea of finding a simpler, less modern, less materialistic lifestyle. While the environment in crisis and his colleagues unwilling to act, Nelson became more and more frustrated and finally decided enough it was enough. He was going to act. Gaylord Nelson's proposal for Earth Day is actually the text of a speech. On October 8, 1969, Nelson gave a speech to his colleagues in the Senate. In his speech, Nelson made the case that the youth of America were facing a world that had been spoiled by their elders. He said, The youth of today face an ugly world of the near future with dangerously and deadly polluted air and water sprawling, crowded development, festering mounds of debris, and an insufficient amount of open space to get away from it all. He quoted a biologist who said that the long-term effect of environmental destruction was not known, but that the kids are the guinea pigs, and that they did not want to be guinea pigs. Nelson said that by focusing on the issue of the environment, they might stem the tide of environmental disaster. Nelson proposed, a national teach-in on the crisis of environment. He said that it should occur on all colleges and universities on the same day. He explained that prominent ecologists, biologists, journalists, public officials, and political leaders could meet with students and faculty in symposiums, convocations, and panel discussions to talk about environmental topics selected by the student body. He wrapped up with comments regarding the ever-increasing numbers of animals being added to the list of endangered species. He told his audience that man is arrogant. Man cannot long watch the animals disappear without seeing his own end in sight. Last, Nelson requested that two pieces of journalism be printed in the congressional record. One is an editorial piece from the Milwaukee Journal and the other was from Time Magazine. Both pieces highlight the environmental crisis, and both supported Nelson's proposal of a national environmental teaching as in Earth. What impact did Nelson's proposal have? Is it important today? First off, Nelson's proposal became reality. The first Earth Day was held April 22, 1970, and it was deemed a huge success. It did what Nelson hoped. 
It raised awareness and resulted in real action, real legislation that protected the environment and encouraged conservation. Together, Democrats and Republicans crafted and passed these laws. President Nixon updated the Clean Water and Clean Air Acts and he created the EPA. Nixon also signed the Endangered Species Act. These laws survive today and hopefully will continue to protect our environment and our health. Today there are plenty in Washington who take money from greedy corporations and they would love to ease, gut, or even abolish these protections and the EPA to increase their already staggering profits. The fight must continue, and it does. Earth Day has grown to be a global celebration with nearly 1 billion taking part in celebrating every year. The fight for a clean environment and conservation continues and today. Earth Day also involves raising awareness and promoting solutions to slow climate change and its effects.